exhale. Uh, one more. I want I know. the box. I know. So I'm bad. trying. I'm trying. Come on. Chin down. Love. Chin down. Yes. There it was. Yeah, he's just good. There's a ridiculous amount of tightness. Yeah. And it's not supposed to be that stiff. Yeah, real quickly, it's coming out right there. It's all. It's hot. When you yes. hit a spot and then yeah, right you there. scrape it, it's hot. That's yes. such a weird. Yeah. Injury, you said at 19, this was snowboarding? Uh, tubing. Tubing. And I just took off and went right into a mountainside. You know, I took off a jump. And, Bam. Yeah. Okay, and then from that, you said they took pictures. They said they had a compression fracture, mm -hmm. lower back. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, anything, like, that's just when I started noticing, like, Think things bothered me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I'm super active. I like to be super active. But, um... Yeah, and so, and I just, I always have a ton tension. of tension in my back, a ton. Well, we were going over a, a few minutes ago, you know, how our posture, like I was saying, I don't treat symptoms, I treat posture. Mm -hmm. Your uh, external auditory meatus is your ear hole. <laughs> the ear hole should be over the center of your shoulder. The center of your shoulder should be over the center of your, if I take my greater trochanter, the right. butt, and then the sat, side of my knee into the malleolus, and so the more forward my body goes because mm -hmm. I'm getting away from this injury I had when I was a kid and I was telling you how it was during when you were growing so 19 is a more impactful injury because your body wasn't the, the cement was still soft mm -hmm. the clay wasn't hardened yet and so it had a bigger ability to, to bend it and then it didn't have Dr. Bo my father's your father to then go in there and re right. bring it back here and so then as a result of having this injury in your lower back your body said Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. It's all better. When you're upright, it's supposed to be, right? The muscles are not yeah. contracting. Now watch. Feel what happens? Yes. See how there's That's tension? Me. There's tension now, seven, yeah. right? Because I'm not in the right position. Yeah. I'm bent forward. Now if I come upright, now it disengages again. It goes back mm -hmm. to being soft. Mm -hmm. And the same thing if you felt my hamstring. But <laughs> my point is, if, yeah. here, yeah. if you put your hand here, you understand why? Right. You can even you can stand up for a second. Yeah. You can put your hand back here. Right. Hand. Now put the weight more on your toes. You right. feel contract. Right. It got all tight here. Why? Because if it doesn't contract, I fall over. So people that are bent forward, do you see how tightness in the hamstring mm -hmm. is really right. bad posture up here? Because we're all quasimodo. Yeah. We're all hunched here. And so everybody's like, we need to stretch the hamstrings. I'm like, no. Right. You need to get your body upright. And then now the hamstrings aren't contracted. They're only contracted because your posture is incorrect. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to what I first introduced to you, which was that the front side of the spine has no feeling. That only half our spinal column has feeling. And so it's very easy and just an easy drift to just shift the weight onto the non-sensitive parts. Right. And then the sensitive parts, like you were saying, Ed, I just feel like a 100-year-old when I go to stand up. Mm -hmm. Because they become all swollen when we spend a lot of time sitting it might not hurt temporarily while we're here. And then when we go to stand up, now we gotta load those joints. Right now we gotta actually come back onto the joints to get upright. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And those joints are swollen, they've been injured, and they don't wanna hold Does that weight. affect like the hips too? Like you know how I sometimes I feel like I'm stuck. You're stuck. Like well, that. Well, and then, then I gotta right. Then you're like I gotta warm up to get up. To yeah. get back upright. But you think that's all It's all lower back. It's a lower back injury. It's mm -hmm. it, it all stems from the lower back injury and then you know how much how much that created damage around it right the good news is that whenever i've looked at every any mri i've ever seen is i find that persons 45 and part of their spine looks 80 part of their spine looks 20. do you understand and mm -hmm. my goal is to go through your spine and wake up the parts that are young mm -hmm. there have to be young areas to account for the older areas and so many people don't even they don't believe me when I say that because I know I hurt everywhere. It's right. Like, I understand because you're only bending where you're older. Right. You don't, you're not chewing on the teeth that are not injured. You're only chewing on the injured teeth. Therefore, every time you chew, you hurt. And so that is our hope today is we go in your spine and we wake up and probably uncomfortably a little bit, mm -hmm. wake up some of the parts like you said, I just want my middle back stepped on. Yeah. You know, and your instinct is true there a little bit because you're like I feel like it's locked mm -hmm. I feel like if it moved a little bit more it would help me out yeah I'm noticing that this is all pain yes but this is all jammed and when somebody just go in there and now I can get it moving for you but it'll just lock up again if we don't change posture 
Because right. that principle, when you had your hand on my back, it'll just tighten up again because the alignment's not correct. That has to do with... <laughs> One last thing for our work, honey. When we bend forward, this is an important principle everybody needs to see with the spine, is that when... So this is the front side, this is the back side, these little spinuses that we feel on our back. Mm -hmm. This is the hole the nerve goes through. And then this is the joint, so that the knuckle, this joint's loaded with pain fibers. When we bend forward, watch the size of that hole. Mm -hmm. Right? right? See, I got a lot bigger. So biomechanically and tilting, watch what happens if I tilt this guy to, to its left, got bigger, right? Mm -hmm. So when you tilt to the left, the hole on the opposite side gets bigger. We call this a compensation, right? Your body can, if I'm injured on my right side of my back, my body will just go, there we go. Right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, we call it antalgia. We'll lean away from, or if we injure the joint, the joint will open up. Oh, there we go. Because the, there's pain fibers in there, so the joint will decompress to take pr to w take weight off of it. Now the muscles are all tight because mm -hmm. the posture's not straight. Yeah. Right? Now to hold myself crooked, my muscles are like, okay, <laughs> trying to hold everything, and now I'm fatigued. And my back just feels tired. Correct, because your body's trying to maneuver around these injuries. And this is where I said, what kind of pictures do you have? Because that would, I don't need them to treat you, but that helps to fill in yeah. some of the, why am I tilting like this? Well, these injuries on your MRI and where that affects yeah. posture. But I'm just going to go through and um, see what areas, more, most commonly it's the middle back, never ages. So all surgery, pure statistics, not from chiropractors, but from the surgeons, 75% of surgery is L5, 24% of surgery is L4, about 1% here, and about one in a million until the lower neck. Okay, so we have five vertebrae three in the lower neck and two in the lower back that encounter about 99% of surgery. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's right. pulling back the Wizard of Oz curtain and showing us that, hey, we're seeing a pattern here. So we restore function to the parts that are not working. The upper neck is a unique area. Has a, a, there's no disc between the skull and the atlas. The, there's, the first disc is right there below mm -hmm. the second vertebrae and there's a pin. Mm -hmm. that the donut sits on called your atlas, and that's how we're supposed to turn our neck. About 60% of the work of your neck is designed to happen just from this vertebrae. So it really shouldn't be possible to overstress the lower neck if the upper neck is working. This model shows it a little bit, but these spinuses are called bifid, they're little butts. <laughs> and they actually interlock. When there's a curve in the neck, they interlock with each other. If everybody can see right. that. Yep. So you actually can't rotate them. You can't actually... Use the, you can't utilize the lower neck if there's a curve. So the first way to destroy someone's lower neck and the, and the disc injuries that happen there is you have to first fan them. You have to first separate, you understand, the spinuses. Yeah. You have to unlock them so that they now can be individually torqued. Mm -hmm. That's the loss of curve. That happened, like I said, teenage, I mean, even five years old when we're told to sit and read and write. Right. We lose the alignment really early. Like, this is where we are at a year. Mm -hmm. At a year old, we are here. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> and so how do we get for here? Then we take a picture of somebody at 20. It's like, how, how do we go from the normal, what we call natural, because you can't stop it. If you hold your head up against gravity, a baby will naturally develop a curve. We're not born with it. We're born in a C shape. We're actually born like this. And then holding our head up against gravity naturally, and we call it a secondary curve is what it's mm -hmm. called, but it means it's not secondary because it's less important. It's secondary because it's developed after birth. Mm -hmm. So we call this the primary curvature. We're born with this one, the thoracic kyphosis. We develop our lumbar lordosis at three to six months. And then if you crawl as a baby, it's important to teach mothers to force their babies to crawl. Right. You will naturally develop your lumbar curve. I had a girl who never crawled and by 20. She had multiple disc herniations because she scooted on her butt. Right? Mm -hmm. So she never had the right alignment. She never developed her natural curve by crawling. You're, you need to be going, you need to be baby crawling, walking. You, know, you, you should have at least about two, three months of crawling to develop your curve. And then we get put into school and sit and read and write. Right. And, you know, we lose these curves and we have zero awareness or value of them. And now we're trying to make it to 90 and we're not going to make it with the wrong alignment. Right. And then these symptoms that I'm hearing you describe, these are just effects of not having the right alignment and the tension and pain, mm -hmm. inflammation, soreness, lactic acid. These are mm -hmm. just things that build up because uh, we're not there. You've never been adjusted before. First no. adjustment, okay, we'll be nice. We'll be <laughs> fine. Towards me. Any pain when you turn? No, I mean, it's a little tight right here. Okay. 
Like I know when I'm driving, I have to. You do do, yeah. the, do the Larry King move. I don't, do the, don't make fun yeah, of Yeah, and I'm like, I'm always yelling at my kids. I can't see around you, and they're like, Oh my gosh, move your nut. All right, turn your head right. I'm just curious. Turn your head right now. Oh, sorry. Right. A little bit more. You turn more that way. Any pain when you turn? I mean, yeah, it hurts just a little bit right. On, on the right. Side. Yeah. So it hurts on the right when you turn right, and then it hurts yeah. on the left when you turn left. Yeah. Okay. Curves aren't created or destroyed; they just change places. So when we lose the curve in our neck. It goes into a hump in our upper back. You understand? Yeah. So people will ask me, well, how do we restore the curve in your neck? Well, it's also about reducing the hump. You understand? The, the upper back hyperkyphosis. So you'll see me working on your chest as much as I will be in getting the curve back in your neck. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. We have to reduce right. the slouch because you won't actually be able to stretch the head back until you push. The chest in, going back to what you said earlier. I want someone to just stand on my yeah, yeah, yeah. head back for me. Easy, let your chest relax. I got you. Exhale, exhale. My deep breath in for me. Easy, easy. Try to not stop breathing. Try to exhale. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling. Yeah, we got work to do. Keep breath in, it's okay. Exhale, let it go, let it go. I didn't know you were gonna. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so then I like. <laughs> I'm gonna, it's okay. We're gonna get your muscles are in guard mode. You yeah. understand? They've, no, we, yeah. I'm, and I'm, what do I say? I'm, I'm examining and treating at the same time here. I mm -hmm. want to see, I wanted to see how well your spine moved cold. You understand? Yeah. Ed, I think if, when, it would move a lot better if you massage me first. That's true, but I, I'm, you gotta, I'm examining. You understand? I want to see mm -hmm. how willing your back was to move. I know you've been driving and all that to get here and all that, but my point is that I expect it to be stiff, but I want to see, it's like undercover boss. I'm just, I'm busting in and seeing who's working. Right. You understand? I didn't give any announcement. I showed up unannounced to a job site, and everybody was <laughs> Ed's here. Yeah, that's right. Get back to work. Never been accused of going too easy. Okay, I've never been accused of, you know, Ed. I didn't feel like you really did much. Nobody's ever said that to me. And and if you want a quiet visit, it costs double. Okay, it's discounted <laughs> if you let me talk. Okay, for everybody at home too. Uh, really nice of you to do a nice ASMR visit. She's gonna have to pay more. Okay. okay exactly. I'm teasing, but yeah, I got you. All this up here. This mm -hmm. is just muscle attachments. So these attachments, because of the position of where your head is to your shoulders, these muscles are working much harder than they're supposed to be, and they will continue working much harder than they're supposed to be until we start getting the joints loosened up. That fabric and ligament on the front needs to be stretched, and the goal is to make the spine limber enough so that we can even begin that process of changing where the bones want to be. It's something that less than 5% of chiropractors are even interested in. Mm -hmm. um, most of chiropractic has become a therapy modality of making people feel good, which is in and of itself not a bad thing. Of course, I want my people, patients to feel better, but we have to be doing that with the directive of, of getting a person into a better place, not by making their posture worse, right? So sometimes we can make people feel better by putting more weight on the non-sensitive structures, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scary place to be, right? You're actually making their posture worse, but temporarily they're feeling better. You know, scares me half to death. <laughs> easy, easy. It's okay. I got you. There we go. Good. Uh -huh. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very, very gentle. Same thing. Easy, easy. Chin up for me. Uh, there you go. There you go. You did it. We did it. I don't know why. It's crazy. Like, I like to work out, and mm -hmm. I never can work that out because I'm like, that's already so. It's the posture. Yeah. It's the posture. It's where it's where your body's recentered. Your home is. Oh, breathe, breathe. Home's back here. We're, on, we're almost there. We're still <laughs> curved. Yeah, that's not where I'm at. <laughs> right. It doesn't feel natural. I know, mm -hmm. but it will. But this is natural, as, as odd as it feels. But like I was saying, the back joints have a lot of feeling. And so, Ed, there's injuries in there. They don't, they don't want to be compressed. They, they, they're hurting right now. Okay, we're going to try to breathe through it and, and work through this and get your neck used to being curved. If it felt natural, you wouldn't be here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there would not be any misalignment to fix. There you go. All right. Okay. Easy, easy. I got you. There you go. There we go. There you go. There you go. Breathe. I got you. I'm not going to hurt it. I've got it. And then, then the end of the visit, we're going to show you the retainer. So there's a piece of foam called a denaroll, and it does its best job to emulate what I'm doing right now, which is to hold your neck curved. The research shows that if your head's one inch forward, we have to double what it is backwards. So we have to take you to negative two, mm -hmm. that makes sense, to bring you back to zero. We have to double whatever the misalignment is forward, 
Now, many times we can't get to negative 2 because all this inflammation is back here. So at the beginning, we might only be able to take it to negative 1, which means that we're just going to get to positive 0.5. Right. Right? To be able to get to 0, we've got to take it to negative 2 if you're 1 inch forward. And so the process to get to that, pu that double backwards is chiropractic. That's, mm -hmm. what I'm, that's what we have to do all this soft tissue work to make it not hurt so bad back there so that we can actually go deep enough mm -hmm. to stretch that fabric on the front called the anterior longitudinal ligament. There's, there's ligaments, rubber bands on the front that have to be stretched. Yeah. Pretty strong thumbs and this is pretty rigid in here. <laughs> yeah, real, a lot of tightness in here. Way too much stiffness. Oh my God. We have to have functioning atlas, functioning axis, they're the first two dominoes in this long chain here. There we go. All right. Oh, there we go. Come back to the other side, I got you. There we go. I can feel that in my eyeball. Uh huh, uh huh. There we go. Oh, it's getting softer. If you, so Please. like, are you mm -hmm. breaking that up? Yes. Or, and then, like, when I get a massage, it'll always come back. Correct. They're not changing the posture. So the posture will end up That's making it so that the muscles aren't grouchy. Per permanently, right. We have to... The effectiveness of the stretch is low until we've adjusted you enough that your neck will actually comply to it. Mm -hmm. How many adjustments? I don't know. I have to sit here and rub this area and make it comply to that mold. Once you're able to do that, right. have at it. But... Um, if we're not changing posture, then we're ultimately just goofing around. I think of like my elbow or my thumb is like the jackhammer and this is like the broom. Mm -hmm. After you break <clears throat> up the large stiff chunks into pieces, then you can kind of uh, sweep it up with this, but it's just a way to help um, clean the tissue, get some of the acidity. Uh, we call cellular exhaust, lactic acid out of the tissue. Like there's a mark coming out right there, right where I was probably feel it like a, you know, mm -hmm. there's lumps right there. There's a mark we'll show you in a minute, but. All right, just like your upper neck, we're just going to hang out here, right? This is, like I said, most bang for your buck is going to be right in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you got to eat that's... the area that you want stepped on, which I'm going to yeah. work on it again in a minute. But All right, please let me know if I'm going too hard, okay? No, All right. you're good. All right. That's where I make my son put his elbow. Good. Just put your elbow right there. It, it hurts. It's the peak of Mount Everest. It's the peak of your misalignment. The, the top of the hill is right here. That's the peak misalignment. Like, I can't assess anything else because yeah. I'm always surprised at what else hurts. Right. Like, oh. Yeah, the goal is we're going to... know that hurt. We're going to put the stretch right here. So in a minute, we're going to attempt arching back. We start with a foam roller, so a six-inch diameter roller. We're mm -hmm. going to try to place that right here and see how, how mad you get at me. Okay? <laughs> and we're going to see what we can handle. Get my back bends backwards. That's right. That's what we're, we're going to try. Not likely. I know. Well, we got to start somewhere, and we have to start the process of somebody's got to be the bad guy and I start know. aiming you backwards. Otherwise, there will not be any permanence. There cannot be any permanence because we haven't changed the posture. Part of it is because of that injury at 19, your body expects you to go tubing again mm -hmm. and has thought that you were going to do that again and put up walls in, in anticipation of you doing it again and crashing again. Right. And so even though it hasn't happened again, let's say that injury, your body's like, I don't believe you. Right. She's going to get on that tube again. I just know it. You know, and so it, 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 for 30 years or whatever, it's spent, you know, time thinking, you know, I got to lock, I got to keep this thing locked down. And anyway what this is. There we go. Okay. You know, just like that the, the color came out that quick and I'm just going as I mean, this is about as mm -hmm. gentle as can be. It, so the nerves have to exit right right alongside the spine is where the nerves come out that go out to your ribs and to your organs and to every part of your body and so having lactic acid alongside your spine has the ability to interfere or inflame or you know disrupt the signal <clears throat> between the brain and the body. And this is the, again the foundation of chiropractic is that's interference, nerve pressure. 
you know, the goal is that I can rub your back and you laugh at me. That all of this is tenderness free, pain free, no difficulty. When you swipe on that side, yes, it, yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's it's a big mark coming it out. It feels of like it's catching. Yep, yep. No, there's a mark. There's there's. I was going back to you have postural guarding and mm -hmm. postural tightness, and you have muscle guarding from injuries, You're, and those are overlapping. Mm -hmm. You know, part of, I believe that most of the muscles that stay tight when you're laying down are injuries. So your posture doesn't, isn't causing the contraction. It's simply tight because your body is in guard mode, right, mm -hmm. when, when we lay down. This is why I massage people and work on people laying down. I take gravity out of the equation. This is why a seated massage to me is a little silly, mm -hmm. right, because you still are fighting gravity to some degree. I want to take gravity out of the equation and work on people with just... The only thing that's still going to be causing tightness is because your body's protecting an area. So is it crunchy because it's adhesions? It's like a road. You ever, you ever drive a brand new road, right? Mm -hmm. It's all nice and smooth. And then what happens after a couple of years, somebody has some plumbing pipes worked mm -hmm. on, and they had to dig up the road, then they patch the road, and every time you drive by, you mm -hmm. it's like, why couldn't the guy that fixed the road Get it level, mm -hmm. and it can be smoothed out. That's you can you can um, get rid of it. Well, or we, can, it we, can, we can we can blend it. We can blend it. We can blend it. We can blend it. We're going to make the demarcation line not so perceptible. You know, so it actually, and we can untangle it a little bit. You know, we actually don't know how much we can tangle. We just got to start untangling it. Mm -hmm. And then once we get you feeling phenomenal, we go, okay, I don't want to ever go back to there again. How do we never? Right. How do I never go back? And that's the stretching. That's all. That's the long term care. You know, a few months from now, that's going to be the, okay, Ed, I, can't, I can't believe where I started. I can't even believe where I am now. But how do I never go back to where I, we were at the beginning? And that's, we got to do 20 minutes arching back. And we got to try to get that ear over your shoulders. And we got to stretch. There we go. Big marks coming out over here. Just all kind of black and blue. There we go. We'll get all the circulation improved. So poor circulation, uh, in these spine tight areas. thing or a heart thing, or both? Well, it's the, the, the tightness in the area makes it hard for blood to be pumped to the 50th story of the building. Mm -hmm. You're saying, so it's the tension making it difficult. There's a muscle in the artery wall that can be strengthened through use, like a skeletal muscle. So two things happen. We work on the area which strengthens the circulation to be able to push blood up to a higher level, but also we reduce the height of the building so it's not so hard to begin with to get it there. So both, mm -hmm. <laughs> it, is, it is atrophy. There's a, a means without, trophy means nutrition. So the area's you know, not gotten what it's needed because of the poor circulation, so it's weakened. And then as we make the area more supple, it won't be so difficult for the blood to get in there. Um, right there, these are the roots of your neck also. Mm -hmm. yeah. Told you. That is tangled. Like really tangled. My son doesn't want to put his elbow in there because it grosses him. Oh. <laughs> I can. I, and I, I'm like, but just for a minute. Oh, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell why exactly. It, it feels like a water blooms underneath your skin here. It's all. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, it's it's rough. She's she's tough. Get it out of me, Ed. All right. All right. Yeah. Real quickly, it's coming out right there. It's all. It's hot when you yes. hit a spot and then yeah, right you there. scrape it. It's hot. That's yes. such a weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's been trapped on lockdown. We gotta unlock it real quickly, like right there. It's all purple. 
like I said, this is this is one thousand year old technique done in China for the alleviation of back pain. <laughs> Way older than chiropractic. <laughs> you know, it's just, but it is a piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. um, it won't. We'll just be doing this every day the rest of your life, and we could do that if you like. I mean, but mm -hmm. the point is, that if we get the posture better and fix the alignment, that you won't even need to be gua sha that much. You right. understand? This is just something that we can do as a means to get to a place where we can do the things that. Mm -hmm. Um, prevent its build up and it's really bad on this right shoulder by the way Gee whiz. yeah it's that is way more tender when you're <laughs> scraping it it's like pouring your poor shoulder here. Jeez. yeah I'm feeling it kind of right when you get right here like yeah. in the pit almost yeah, yeah. right there yeah I was like what's that, oh, that yeah, doesn't let me get there. I still not there exactly oh man three swipes there yeah. I mean, I felt it everywhere else too, but I was like, "What's happening over there?" A little, a little gold mine you put in here. Mm -hmm. What's this little bit of <laughs> mm -hmm. treasure trust? That's why when we sat down, I was like, "I don't know where to start." I, I figure you'll find it. Mm -hmm. What happens is I start with the spine first. Mm -hmm. I want the spine clean first, and once the spine clean, we start off-roading. I call it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we start going, start going into all these ancillary places, but. You don't, we won't have anything until we get the spine clean. Right. We have to have this. Um, it's like, let's get the main hallways. I want the kitchen, main hallways, living room. I want those clean. Then we'll go into the closets mm -hmm. and start doing these <laughs> random areas. But nothing's good if we don't have the main areas clean. Oh, is it called your periform? Mm -hmm. That has issues. Yes, ma'am. You know, that, that muscle is controlled by your lower back. It's mm -hmm. ultimately just a slave to L5. Okay, because that... So, it, has mm -hmm. significantly. Mm -hmm. I wanted to check this before I twisted you. I wanted. I, I didn't forget. I wanted to loosen up this joint a little bit. Yeah, because the twisting. I'm like, mm, yeah, no. We're gonna go real gentle. We we're, gonna twist. Go, we're gonna go real gentle. Okay, I promise. I'm not gonna hurt you, but we gotta loosen up this joint. But I'm not gonna loosen up this joint if I can't just loosen up this joint. I don't want to loosen up your lower back. Mm -hmm. I wanna. I'm not, I understand the compression fracture. I don't want to touch your lower back, but we. That doesn't mean that we can't benefit. Like right there where your man, elbow I feel, is? Yep, I feel it. I mean, it's not like, I'm not like at level 10, but yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm, right there. If you dug a little deeper, yep. you'd find some treasure troves. Yep. I do miss being a team player. I can't. It's not as bad on this side. But, yeah, on, that, on your left side, this, mm -hmm. this got torn up right here. Right there. Yeah. That's a whole situation. It's a whole situation right there. What the heck? That's that that's that that's the peak of it, is that area right there mm -hmm. where you were like the water balloon. That's all gotta get worked out of there and there's some down there at the bottom, but we That's crazy. Yeah, I wanna, and then that right there, I was telling you, I was the, like, what is that? Yeah, inflammation. Put your hands around your belly. Put them right there. There we go, breathe. It's gonna breathe. Stretch, stretch, just twist. There you go, breathe. Breathe. There you go. Let this go right there. There you go, breathe. There you go. Okay. Breathe for me. I won't let you fall. I promise. Breathe for me. Exhale. Exhale. There we go. Mm -hmm. Good. Other side for me. Good. Mm -hmm. Just trying to loosen that SI joint a little bit. I got you. And the middle back. So up here, see, mm -hmm. this gets injured because this is tight and this is tight. So we got to move the area above up here a little bit and then right below a little bit. Exhale. Mm -hmm. There you go. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Let's go back on your back for me. You did good. Okay. <laughs> Exhale for me. Relax your chest. Just keep going. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, deep breath in. It's okay. I'm just greedy. Let's see if I can get some more. Exhale. It's okay. Exhale. Uh, one more. I want I know. the box I know. So I'm bad. trying. I'm trying. Exhale. Come on. Let the chest relax. Uh -huh. Almost. It's almost there. Exhale. Right there. Come on. Chin down. Open. Chin down. Yes. There it was. Yeah, it's just you get, there's a ridiculous amount of tightness. Yeah. Understand? It's not supposed to be that stiff that it needs 30 minute, 40 minute massage to get it able to oh, even move a, little a crack. tiny bit. Sit on it, Ed. Okay, all right. Here we I go. told you. All right, all right. Get uh -huh. Right there, yeah. There you go. Oh, another one. Yeah. Yeah, doing good. All right. 
doing great. Mm -hmm. Every visit, we go deeper and deeper. We have to, to, to get the next level, we have to stretch. So in theory, mm -hmm. the next time I came back, we get more we and more, get more and more. get more and more. You got it, you got it. That would be the goal. Uh-huh, uh-huh, nice. Uh-huh, good, nice, okay. And just look straight forward. All right, go ahead and tilt your head left for me a little bit, tilt left. Uh -huh. Oh, what is the purpose? I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? It's trying to be sneaky. This helps open up the drain lines behind your ears that drain your sinuses, drain your oh. face. Most of it's happening because of the tension. And if I took a picture of your neck, you'd see a similar yeah. bruise that's back on your back, between yeah. your neck. But the see tightness here blocks the drain lines that go across your face, above your ear, down behind your ear, and then down your neck. Go ahead and tilt that for me a little bit. Uh -huh. She's a good sport. <laughs> and, we make, and we're making popping sounds. Which we like. Exactly. All right, there we go. All right, I got you. Go ahead and tilt to the right for me a little bit. Uh -huh. And then tilt a little bit. Uh -huh. Good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> little I want it a little bit lower so your head's going over it. Sometimes I'll take my hand, place it on my forehead, and you kind of press. Oh. Does that make sense? See if you can mm -hmm. get your head to press in, then you put your hand back down. It's like a mold, you, you know, you, mm -hmm. and I pushed it in and I felt like it came right back out. And yes, right. <laughs> the more you get worked on and the more you do it, the more your neck will just stay there. <laughs> stay, stay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not, it actually sometimes becomes more difficult the 10th time you do it versus the first time. And it wasn't that difficult the first time and it got harder and they kept doing it. Mm -hmm. What the heck's going on? You're actually doing it properly. <laughs> right. Your neck wasn't doing it properly the right. first five times you did it. So don't be alarmed or don't be like, you know, I think it's, it's getting harder to do or my neck is more sore now because your neck's actually complying and actually starting to bend. And the more you do it and the more you work on you, the more you're massaged. But we, this is the component you've been missing. Nobody's, mm -hmm. you have to be stretching. So, I mean, I'm glad you've been getting massages. I'm glad you've been worked on and, you know, all the different things. But if we're not, if we're not doing anything to restore the curve, if we're not trying to undo years of forward rotation from injuries and life and kids, then we're, not, we're just going to lose. We're still going to lose. And we have to begin the conversation <laughs> of right. arching you back. Oh, this is uncomfortable. I know. Not like in a pain way, uh, but like a... Well, we'll be in a second. <laughs> we don't like to do this. We have to start. I got books behind your head to reduce the depth. What you'll do is you're going to roll towards me. So you're going to, that roller is going to move down your back. You're going to push with your feet, and you're going to come towards me. So right roll, now? Yes, ma'am. Roll down an inch. Get the idea? Breathe. Yeah. Now stay here for a minute. Stay here. Oh, stay. Breathe. Like keep, your phone rolling. Keep, keep your butt down. Keep your butt down. I can't. Okay, yes, I can. you can do it. You can. <laughs> I can. I think I can. I think. It takes time. I have a chiropractor as a father. I've cheated, okay? I got adjusted all the time. You didn't. My, my joints. It's like I'm asking you to bend your finger and you're going, it's pretty good. No, it's not. I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> supposed to bend. Show me a bending finger. Right. Right. You, that, you've, you've lost. Like you started, that, that was the beginning of your visit and now we're here. Mm -hmm. Still not. Well, it's pretty good. No, it's not. <laughs> That's know. crazy how uncomfortable that. I mean, I knew it was going to be uncomfortable, but I have no mobility <sighs> in my back. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry nobody's showing you this. It's crazy, too, because I, we just, my family all just came out and went to Disney World. Okay. But I watched my dad walk around, and I was like, I don't want to be walking like that. You know what this I'm is, saying? This is how we get there. This is the process. I'm just showing them. I am jumping the gun here. This is visit three through five, but I know we're you know, you're traveling, and yeah. I wanted to give you a preview. This is where we're going. Yeah. This, this is what do you want me but to do? But this makes so much more sense because my alternative is mm -hmm. ibuprofen and Tylenol. You beat me up enough today. Right, we're, we're, you did great. Let me just check. <laughs> or am I still going? Fine. No, I'm going to check your range of motion. Let's see. You survived. Too, yeah. <laughs> right, just jelly. Turn your head left, slow or right. Oh my gosh! I don't know my left or my right. <laughs> Obviously, I went that way. Yeah, so okay. like, oh, what are we? I'm going. She's on her own journey. <laughs> How's that feeling? How's that feeling? Feels really good. Oh, okay. <laughs>